Oh, good morning. Um, welcome back to the old Polish farm. It's the end of June, six o'clock in the morning. We could probably get up earlier, but I don't know if we have that much to that much to do. Get my coffee here. We were doing contracts yesterday, harvesting, uh, and some bailing. Money is in a nice, comfortable spot. Uh, we were almost reached a hundred thousand euros. Oops. You think I would recognize that? <laughs> I got my units of measure correct now. Um, yeah, we almost reached 100,000 euros yesterday. Actually, we might, could today, we probably have milk to sell. And I don't know what the greenhouse is doing. I'm also afraid to try and pull the pallets off of it. I can feed the cows some more just try and get that feed up before we get the eight new calves is there something here nope it's the it's the box I was seeing this wheat should be ready next month what about the canola? I don't know. Let's look at the crop calendar. I'm not real good at it on this map. More you would think. Would have a better memory of it by now, but I don't. So why don't we do the milk first thing? Oh, I should open this one over here. But yeah, the money is up almost near a hundred thousand euros. The field that I want to buy costs about five fifty thousand euros, roughly. It's currently in corn. We would want to do corn silage with it, and that would be in September. We're going to do corn silage. We'll need to clear out our pit, too. All the more reason to use the mixer wagon. It makes such small batches. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but it is a pretty small batch with just uh, 2,500 liter capacity. I don't know. I like it anyway. Oh. 1600. Yep. Alright. Uh, where are we going to take it? I guess we could do some maintenance today. This tractor needs some. Milk. by just a little.
I think we'll go above a hundred thousand ever so briefly because when we do the maintenance on the tractors it's gonna go back down there we go 101,000 Sometimes when my combine's not parked there, I don't recognize where my own house is. <laughs> Yeah, we used all the smaller um, hay bales already, so all we have are these, I think, 600s. control the, how much hay or just use two bales. less silage hmm. 600 I don't know we'll try uh, we'll see what happens here for now. This will be for the next one. Start it up. Start shredding those bales up. It's weird. So it 
Did I miss something? That's better. I don't know what that was all about. Oh. That's weird. Arguably the two bales are 1200. Scoop 714. So he's got that one hay bale that's not completely...
going to turn on the field info here. So it took, yeah, a good portion of it. I gotta pay attention this time. Although I will hold this above to see if it just disappears. Instead of dropping it in. Maybe that'll help to make sure it gets completely incorporated. Yeah. I gotta 
system is taking all its wine. Alright, how the cow's doing now? Yeah, it's not my, that much more. I could probably do 10 loads of this mixer and it wouldn't fill it up. It might be too small for us. Alright, well, the being over 100,000 was nice, but it was going to be short lived. I guess that wasn't so bad. All right, well, now we've done everything we need to do around here. Sold some milk, mix up some uh, total mix ration for the cows. That spader is huge considering how narrow it is. Looking forward to trying that out. I'm wondering if it'll work on plowing contracts, though, because it's, quote-unquote, not a plow. We'll see. I guess pop in the house, see if there's any work to be done. Check the used machinery sale. What is in the used machinery sale? Anything we can use? No. About contracts. Not really. I'm not going to do field four again. I did field 20. I felt a little bad about that. I don't know. Guess we kind of wait out the day to see what happens. Hmm. Unusual. All right, well, I'll check back with you later when something happens, maybe. Okay, it's uh, later in the day. <clears throat> I had to come back and uh, overdub this portion. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. The uh, uh, audio wasn't recording for a portion, so i got to come back and, and dub this over. Actually, it gone in the house and was pretty much going to call it a day, so i got to open up the uh, open up the cow shed here again. Uh, we made four more mixer wagons. I got the field info open there. 
that I made four more Wix mixer wagons uh, of total mix ration for the cows. So you can see that now it's uh, in the green. We've got uh, 40,000 liters of feed, nearly all of it being total mix ration. So we're in the green, probably going to continue to mix up more uh, so that when those eight cows arrive, those new eight calves, we'll have plenty of feed for them. But uh, we're working away at the silage here, so we've got even more gone out of it. So that's good. We're working it off. Uh, so when we buy that field and do the next corn silage, maybe uh, we'll have space for it. So that's a good thing. I'm noticing that I've only got a 98% yield bonus in this soybean field. It's kind of weird. What? How about the winter wheat? Winter wheat's at 100. So I think I think what it is is it's that kind of weird anomaly I had going on with the with the mulcher where we weren't actually mulching in these one fields. I'm not sure what that was all about. Anyway, it's it's later in the day and we picked up a harvesting contract to do another barley harvest so we're going to go do that uh quickly uh before it gets too much later in the day so we'll just hop in the combine here need to do some maintenance on this though before we do that I'm looking at my maintenance bar and it's getting pretty low. Let's just pull it out here nice and slow. Perfect. I'm gonna pull over here and buy the toolbox. See how much this is going to set us back. Uh, 13 euros for the header. Oh, well, that's easy. We'll do that. 984 on the combine itself. So we're back below the 100,000. But that's not so bad. So go around the back way again. Oop. I knew that was going to happen one of these times. get this I was really uh, I already call it for the day and come back tomorrow and see what was what but I checked to see if there was anything available it's still just bailing contracts on these two kind of scrubby fields Uh, bailing contract for hay on whoa, field four, which is the uh, I think it was field four. The field that we did the silage, one of the silage bale contracts on that was supposed to go to the biogas plant, we weren't able to do it, we'll deliver it there. 
and it just I, it feels uh, doesn't feel right to go and do a hay contract on it when we already cut the grass and did it once. I did it on field 20 and I didn't like it that I had done it there uh, so I'm not going to do it. Definitely not doing it again. Oh, let's leave mine. best way to get to it, but it's a way to get to it. It's over there just beyond those, uh, that stack of bales. How do they get them that high? Must have like a telehandler. those open. You don't have to on this. It's not like a unfold harvester uh, that you'll see on some of the other uh, combines. shouldn't take too long. It's up and down a couple of times. Wow, we're like right across from our farm, really. Kind of really went the long way around to get there. <laughs> So yeah, after I left you this morning, I kind of watched you's equipment, see if anything happened, looked at contracts, looked at the weather. Around lunchtime, I decided uh, I might as well go do something. <clears throat> that's when I decided to go make some more uh, feed for the animals, for the cows. And pretty glad I did that. I think we'll probably continue to do that as time becomes available in downtime if we have it. You now maybe I won't show it. We've seen it up, seen it before. Uh, but it's something that needs to get done. Uh, yeah would like to have that salvage pit emptied by September if possible. You know, we can either sell it or feed it to the cows. I'd rather feed it. And then hopefully we can get the, uh, I guess, the feed bar full enough <clears throat> that the cows have feed until the Sorry, uh, <laughs> the cows will have feed until the chaff from the uh, corn silage has had time to ferment in the pit. I wonder if I can, nah, it's going to take, it's going to take just barely more than one grain tank on the combine to do this field, I think. I was wondering for a second if I could get through and do the whole thing. I have trouble getting past those bales there. Whoa. Button mashing. Sorry. There we go. this 
stack that high. It's impressive. Grab the truck. Not very much. Should just use a trailer, but it's probably easier just to get the truck out. Hmm. Well, may as well cut through pads. I wonder. Nah. <laughs> I was thinking, can we drive the truck through? Eh, probably better not. how much I like this truck. I think I have. A few times. This should be fairly quick. I think I can get there taking this track by the market here at Targ. Get up there fairly quickly.
kind of long way around. Let's get the grain tank emptied here. Are up to the edge of the field here. And when we go back to the farm, we'll go to the right. Turn 
right there, come around the back. Back in, or wait. I don't know. So the truck's one third of the way full. So what would be the easy thing to do? Let's see. Could go, it's going to WS Colonia. We could turn right and up. But I'll run into traffic going down towards the hill. So I'll just go around this way. I can't remember how early we got our winter wheat in. I'm going to say it couldn't have been too early because that was a cornfield, right? So it would have been September at the earliest when we... got the crop in, so I don't expect it to be ready just yet. At the beginning of July. We'll see. WS Colonia. I should confirm these. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and deliver it here. Okay, the money's not going up yet, so that means we're delivering to the correct place. <laughs> got it done, got 253 euros, so yeah, let's go ahead and collect. Another 558. We're just over 100,000 again. That's where we want to be. Ow. I'm going to take a long way around. I don't want to run in traffic. Come around this way. I'll go down by target again. Al, I'm just going to put my stuff away. Then we're going to call it a night. So, I'd like to thank you for hanging out with me here at the old Polish farm. Shorter episode than usual. Mixed up some feed, waited around, mixed up some more feed. <laughs> Off camera, came back, did a quick barley harvest for a little bit of money. End the day, over 100,000 euros again. After some ma maintenance, needed maintenance so last. I know your time is valuable to you. I appreciate that you chose to spend a little of it here with me. And I hope you come back and do this again. Here at the old Polish farm. We'll see you next time.